I ask myself the question, if you can beat an elite boss without any paragons. Paragons make the game a lot easier, so I thought, why not try this week's elite lich without them. The one started on 137. This is where this week's boss begins. I started off with the best farming method, aka 5 markets, a balloon trap and a rubber to gold alchemist. I farm my way up to 140, where I use the easiest tier 1 strategy for this week, which is an elite defender in range of the boat. I placed him far away from lich, so lich won't steal the buff. After tier 1, I sold my defense, got a dragon's breath, a BRF and an overclock to make more money. Then I started spamming markets all over the map, because this is by far the easiest farming strategy to get a lot of money for tier 2. For tier 2, I sold my BRF and I got an avatar of rough army with a 5x druid stack for defense as well as an embrittlement for extra damage. After tier 2 was beaten, I was able to sell everything, got a spirit of the forest for defense and also to generate likes for later tiers and I also ended up getting my banana central with some BRFs. Somewhere in the 70s, a viewer told me to place down a Zili. Yeah, I forgot her the whole one. And yes, it's worth it to place her because you can actually use the totem to buff your towers and Lich doesn't steal this buff. Otherwise, I spammed BRS for tier 3. As tier 3 arrived, I got down a temple, my druids again and also a quibble and super brittle SD buffs. This defense made tier 3 super easy. I continued farming and now tier 4 and tier 5 are actually getting interesting because we normally just go for paragons at this point. For tier 4, I upgraded my temple to a VTSG after failing it once. We all know that sad feeling when your temple doesn't turn into a VTSG. I got my druids and debuffs again as well as a flying fortress. Overall, this defense ended up beating tier 4 super easily. And now for tier 5. I sold all my towers on tier 5, got around 4.5 million cash to work with and I got a few towers. I got tags at the beginning, temples, sun avatars and snipers wherever I found the space for them. It was super lucky on tier 5, but with this defense I ended up beating Lich early tier 5 super easily. One last thing I have to add though, this week's elite lich was nerfed, but I'm pretty sure you can also beat a normal HP elite boss with this strategy. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one, if you did so, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and I see you guys in the next one.